Hi, I'm Borkon. Glad to have you here. Welcome back to the Cave Factory. And uh, before we do anything else, I need to remember the thing that I forgot, well, didn't forget, but didn't get to doing in the previous episode, and it is to use uh, this fantastic thing. It is an uncrafting table that I got from the Twilight Forest. Well, I, I didn't get it from Twilight Forest, but I had to visit the Twilight Forest to get materials to make an uncrafting table. And uh, the way it works is that it eats some of my experience and uh, it uh, gives you back the materials that were used to make the thing that you are uncrafting. And uh, this is used, uh, well, uh, at least it's recommended in the Cave Factory Discord as one way to complete the challenge to eat all the things because uh, uh, some of the things don't exist. Like, for example, chorus mushrooms and amber root and i think those three items are the last three items i need to eat i actually don't know because apparently you don't need to eat all the edible things that exist for this challenge but it's so hard to scroll through this list and uh, see which of these items have this green check mark and which which don't i've been trying to scroll through this and i think i think i think these three are the last three things i need to eat so let's try it. Let's let's use our uncrafting table. Let's see what we can craft with mushrooms. With mushrooms, uh, that, this looks the simplest, right? So we make this with some other mushroom right now, and uh, this this is this is kind of exploity, I would actually say. Actually, we, we will need two of those uh, because I need at least two mushrooms because I need to cook one of them. So uh, uh, like this, and it's giving me a different mushroom than, than I used to make this. Well, that's kind of expected. And where, oh, I click here. Oh, and it's that next one. Okay. And now what we do is to uh, click this, click this, and click this. And I got the raw chorus mushroom. And let's get another one as well. I'm seeing that the thing that wasn't used up in the craft is not duped, which is nice at least. So... Uh, this can't be used to dupe things. All right, and uh, since I'm already here, let's also look at amber root. What what can we do with amber root? Oh, let, let's just pick the first thing, right? Two amber roots here. Okay. With a garden soup. It, did it actually... This looks like the same thing. It's hard to know. Yeah, it is. Wow, okay, that was lucky. That was the first thing that came up. Okay, awesome. So, now we have those. And I think I need to cook one of the mushrooms. I don't think this can be cooked. I don't think I can do actually anything useful with this, right? This is just... Yeah, this, this substitutes for, I guess, carrots and potatoes. Because I remember lots of these things are made with carrots and potatoes. Like, if I just look at this thing, right? It can be made with, oh, cabbage. Lot, like, pretty much any vegetable. Anyway, did it get cooked? It got cooked. So, uh, if I am right, these are the three things that I need to eat and we will finish the challenge that will let me never eat again. Right. No, uh, I, I keep forgetting. Every time I do this, I keep forgetting to turn off my uh, automatic feeder because I need to feed myself. There we go. We ate one of those, we ate one of those, and please tell me that the challenge finishes not when I do this. It didn't. Ah. Uh, okay. Or did it? Wait a minute. It is... Oh no, it did! It finished! It finished! I, it, it just wasn't automatic. Right, so now I need to click this. And now what? I mean, my, my, my meats here didn't go up, so uh, I have no idea. Maybe I don't need to eat anymore. I guess... Uh, I, I, I will notice. So I will me leave my auto-feeder uh, turned off and just see what happens. Uh, uh, I guess I have infinite saturation now. This is finished, right? Yeah, it, it definitely looks finished. Okay. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed in the challenges that there isn't more fanfare when you complete a very, very long and heavy challenge, but I, I guess that's how it's supposed to work. Uh, but I, I, I wish there was just more fuss. All right, with that done, I want to try something um, kind of weird today. Um, it, it is an experiment I am fearing a little bit because I don't know if this will succeed at all. 
And if it doesn't, I will have wasted a day or two on, on, on doing this experiment. So a uh, little bit afraid that it might not work out. And we need to go to the mine colonies area. And everything is loading very slowly. But we need to work on this machine. It's it's not time to, to do the episode about the colony just yet. Because the colony is still not finished. It's, it's actually taking like... A, one building upgrading to tier five uh, can take about like uh, five six hours, and and I'm not sure if uh, it's supposed to do that. But I will talk about this when we are talking about the colony in general and, and things I learned and why I think some things take so much time. And yes, world load in. I think I need a slightly higher render distance in here, so let's put it to twenty six and reload the world. Anyway, uh. We are here on the machine that I used to dig out the, this huge cylinder. And the first thing I'm going to do is going to dismantle it. Not all of it, but uh, we will never use it for drilling again. So I'm not going to go higher, even though I, I, I thought that maybe I would someday. But no, uh, we are removing that and we're removing all the drills. So I'll be back after I have cleaned this thing up. Oh, and it's becoming spawnable when I do that. That is uh, something I didn't count on. I, I do actually need to place torches so this, this whole thing doesn't go wrong. Uh, okay, I, I, I will do that. Can I actually just use this, this magical lantern of paranoia? And will it do the right thing? I think it might actually. So yeah, I just need to remove the drills because we will never be drilling again. I, this might be a mistake, but it's actually easier to place the drills than to remove them. Or is it? I can vein mine the drills. Oh, that has solved so many problems. And the torches are being placed automatically. Okay, uh, this is might be actually easier than I thought. Awesome. Now, what I want to do is to put deployers on top of this thing here. And let's make the deployer turn. And I basically want to light up the ceiling. It, yes, it, it is that crazy. But I don't want to cover the entire ceiling with... And, and it's going to be shroom lights, right? Because I, I have a million shroom lights. I don't want to do it regularly. I, I want to experiment a little bit with how it would work. I, I, I just want to start with one bit here uh, just to see how it works. Uh, let's do something super complicated. Let's draw a circle. I mean, it, it's not super complicated. I But this is the baby steps I want to take here just to make sure that... Conceptually, this does what I think it's supposed to do. So, think, and how do I limit it to just one rotation? Because I will have to do that in the future. Baby steps. This can be a full circle. Um, it was supposed to place the shroom lights, did it? I don't know if it did, or if it did, something is very buggy. And by the way, see down here, uh, I don't think I have infinite saturation. I don't think the food eating challenge actually worked. What are you doing machine and why aren't you placing my shroom lights? I mean, I have used deployers before. This isn't rocket science. No, it hasn't placed a single one. Do I need to lower it one block more? I don't think I should. Okay, I will lower it down one block more, but I don't think that is the correct thing to do. Interesting. Something is, is weird and something is not working the way it should. The blocks here. So, minus eight. Something is definitely not working the way I think it does. So, huh? Yeah, it, it is very, very buggy. It's not rendering in when I'm doing these things. I'm not liking what I'm seeing here, but uh, we'll power through it. We'll we'll see what happens. Okay, so uh, now it's going to spin in the wrong direction. I don't, oops, I don't really care about that. There we go. It's allowed to spin in any direction, so we, uh, it is not placing blocks. Something is buggy. I can hear it placing blocks, but it doesn't. Do I need to re-log to see if, like, but no, but it, it, it literally didn't use up a shing, single shroom lights. It's just not working. Wh what did I do wrong? What's the problem here? 
I can hear the sound of blocks being placed. What's going on? I don't get it. Do, do I need to change the modes of this thing? Um, nothing is working. I just relogged and, and still nothing is happening. This is not right, right? This this will do the wrong thing? Uh, I, I'm going to try it because the, I, now I'm just being confused. Yeah, 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 of course. This is just punching blocks. This is not placing blocks. We're not even hearing the magical sounds. It's just not placing blocks. Are deployers not working on uh, circular machines? No, but that would mean that my wood farm wouldn't work, and my wood farm definitely works, right? Th that That's how we're f placing saplings for a wood farm. What? Is it unable? But I I'm literally hearing it placing blocks. Oh, and I'm seeing that all my colonists have gone to bed, so <laughs> I need to react to that. Because that's how the colonies work. If I don't sleep, they are half as efficient. Let's try this with just a hand crank. It's making the placing sound, but it's not placing anything. Do I need to... Like, no, I don't need to remove a block above it. It's, it's, it is supposed to be placing, like, over there. No, nothing. Nothing. What? Rotate that. Okay. Can it place in front of it? No. This is a mystery. Apparently my deployers have stopped working. And let's just go on the floor here. Please place my shroom lights. Nope. I, this is not normal. Uh, something is broken here and I don't know what. Oh, is it some permissions thing? Maybe I am not allowed to place things within the colony because of some permissions thing. Oh, that would be interesting. In in that case, we have learned something new about the colony. Let me just move move over here. Yes. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I am starting to suspect I understand what's going on, and it is something to do with the colony. Permissions. Add player. Can I add the play? I don't know. Deployer. I can... Neutral. Officer. Yes. Uh, I I don't know if the player is actually called deployer, but uh, we'll find out. Maybe I can name the deployers with a name tag. That would be funny. Nope. I guess the player is not named deployer. Uh, okay, let me go on the internet and find if there is some documentation of how to be, get this working. If this is the problem. I still don't know if this is the problem, but... If we solve it, then we knew that this was the problem. Okay, apparently the way it's supposed to work is we go into... Where was permissions? Permissions here. There are more than one page here. Aha. We go to neutral and we allow it to place blocks and break blocks. I've been able to break blocks with my machine earlier, so I don't know why. But okay, I'm just going to give it all kinds of permission because like nobody else is going to be in this world, so it is fine. So... Yeah, okay, that's how it worked. Ah, it's new exciting problem. Awesome. So, now we place this deployer. Not exactly sure where I want it, but that is a good enough spot. Right, let's give it shroom lights. Let's uh, put the shroom lights in its hands. That is looking fine. Ah, let's draw a circle. Because that was the plan all along, to just draw one circle. Give me a circle. Yay, we made the circle. <laughs> right, but this is of course not the entire plan, right? Now I need to figure out how to make this machine spin exactly one cycle and not more because uh, uh, we, we, I, I, I have an idea. I don't know if the idea is going to work, but that's why we are here. Let's find out. So I think the way it works, and yes, I am trying to remember, is that this clutch is now stopping the shaft from spinning, that redstone link, it toggles this latch. Okay, so if I just remove this, I remove this because it's not gonna work the way I want it to work. Let's give it a sequence gear shift. That's the sequence gear shift. We probably need some dust here or a repeater. Dust will be fine. Now the se sequence gear shift. I want it to turn 360 degrees 
in whatever direction, doesn't matter. Yeah, and it's gonna spin at the exactly correct speed, right? Well, uh, we're gonna be experimenting with the speed. That, that, that's where I want to end up. Can I make it spin exactly one spin? And come on, come on, come on, spin exactly once. Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. I want to see if I can get the shroom lights out of a drawer instead of barrels, because filling in these barrels, I realized, would be completely, insanely hard. So... There we go. Uh, it is full. We pick you up, and if we place you right here, and there is nothing in these barrels, there's nothing in these barrels, so... If I remove all the shroom lights from this deployer, just to confuse things less, I will give it exactly one. And now let's try this. So that should give it one spin. It is not picking things up from the drawer, but I kind of expected that. I need to fill in all these barrels. Can I do it with a storage interface? Hmm, I, I'll try it because I think it should have been possible somehow. Uh, I'll give it a go. I think I remember that if I was pushing items into a portable storage interface, that would give it to, to the machine. Not exactly sure if that worked that way, but let's give this thing an upgrade. Yeah, it is. It should be sucking things out. I don't know. Uh, only way to find out is to just, just try it and see what happens. So, uh, like this. Something is happening. And it did suck up all the shroom lights. And of course, it kind of broke, but it kind of didn't break. Um, perfect. So I can actually feed it items. Oh, that, that solves so many things. So give me that thing. I don't have... Oh, I used to have a connection to my storage system here, but I don't anymore because uh, this thing has infinite range. So I need to go back to base and fill this drawer with, uh, well, all, all the shroom lights, because I think I have, like, over 100,000 shroom lights right now. So, something like this, an exporter, give it some stack and speed upgrades, and yeah, we're moving all the shroom lights. And yes, I am aware that my hunger is running out very slowly. I want to see if the challenge reward actually worked, or if it didn't. Apparently, I finished this, and this thing down here said infinite saturation, but... I don't know if it's actually working. Well, we'll see. All right, I've got 136,000 shroom lights in here. Let's see how many fit in these barrels. And it should start... Uh, there we go. This is probably... I was about to say this is probably going to take a while, but it didn't take a while at all because it only loaded 2,000. Oh, I understand what's happening. It's the sequential gearbox. The sequential gearbox... Uh, stops this spinning, so that's why it stops loading. I see, I see, I see. There we go. Now this should be filling in as many barrels as possible. Yes, without the sequence gear shift, it, it just keeps going. So it was the sequence gear shift that was preventing it from loading more barrels. Perfect, okay, uh, well, this is at least the faster way to load 50 or 100 barrels or however many I have left. I have no idea how many shroom lamps I'm actually going to end up using. You'll see in a minute. This is a very experimental lighting up the roof experiment. Very experimental experiment. Yes, smart words from my face. Oh, and it actually emptied the drawers. So that was all the shroom lights that I owned. That is actually useful to know, which means that uh, if, I, if, if this is not enough, I will actually have to run the farm for a while. All right, but enough messing around, enough testing. I now think I know everything I need to know. So, what's the plan here? Let's remove these first. And, uh, oh, why is it going so slow? Because I don't have any efficiency on my hoe. And I am flying, so that's why it's taking extra time. Right, so that circle is now empty. Let's jump down to our mechanism here. I can set this to any speed. So let me set it to maximum speed. It can actually go at 256 RPM uh, because I, ha I have a water wheel here. I have upgraded it uh, since uh, the original The original only had a magma block, right? So now this is going at full speed and I am expecting that that deployer will not be able to deploy 
all the blocks, there will be gaps between them. I, I have not tested this, so let's just try it. And uh, that was it. Okay, uh, that's... <laughs> That's two big gaps between the shroom lights, so it doesn't actually, it shouldn't spin this fast. It is actually spinning way too fast. The question is, if I do this again, I think it's spun, but it shouldn't have placed any new shroom lights. The point is that this is reliable. Like, this process of placing the shroom lights is reliable. It's going to be exactly the same every time. And I'm hoping that by moving the deployer to the next point where I want to place the shroom lights, it's going to create a slightly different pattern depending on how fast it is going. Because if I had deployers, uh, like, uh, so the deployers are actually supposed to be where the torches are. Yes, I have just... Uh, moved all the torches so, so that they would be in an exactly correct pattern because this is how tight I want to have the rows of or or circles of shroom lights. If I had deployers exactly where the torches are, um, I'm 99% sure that all the shroom lights would be placed in a line like this, straight from the middle of where we're spinning, because this is the middle we're spinning. Uh, the funny part is that the gantry shaft is not the middle. The middle is actually here, uh, just for your information. And um, I'm pretty sure that they would all just be placed in a straight line like this. Actually, you know what? Let's just test that, because I have extra deployers. I was thinking about doing this one at a time, but like, let's do two. two just to make sure that I am not lying to you. And I am expecting to only get four shroom lights from this deployer. Let's do one more deployer because why not? There we go. So uh, if I spin this thing now, I am expecting all the shroom lights to end up in straight lines. Don't worry, we're gonna be removing them. So let's spin, oink, yes. It is working exactly like I expected to. The shroom lights are placed in straight lines like this, and they will always be placed like that. Oh, that's exactly the way I want it. The problem is uh, we are spinning too fast, and I am invisible. There we go. Now I am visible. By the way, a trick to make your roofs uh, look nice in mine colonies is to place extra torches near the roofs. Otherwise, they, they have really, really nasty shadows, like the restaurant there. Those shadows are nasty because I don't really have any good spots to place uh, torches. Never mind, we're gonna talk about mine colonies in the future. But uh, this is doing exactly what I want, except it is kind of ugly. And I'm wondering actually, what speed do we have? Is it 256? It is 256. Let's cut it to half. Let's just see what gets added. This is so fast, I, I have no time to react. This is looking better. So basically, uh, my idea is maybe, maybe they need to be th this rare. Um, and I think, I'm pretty sure that the the 256 rotation speed shroom lights were also covered by the 128 rotation. So, let's remove everything and, and see that we're getting exactly the same pattern as, as we just got. Because I'm pretty sure that the pattern that will be created uh, is always overlapping when we divide the rotation speed by 2. But let's make sure that we're getting exactly the same thing. I think I remember how it looked. There. Removed. Let's try this again. No. There was an extra line here that I'm not seeing now. Oh, this is... This is weird. I'm just trying this a few times to see. Now, nothing nothing unexpected happens, but yeah, I am... By the way, this is very hard to, to record because I am getting horrible lag spikes when the arm moves around. So, um, just sorry about that. And uh, I uh, must also remember to not speak when that happens because for some reason I get crackling sound in my microphone when uh, this mod pack is overloading things. Like, I have noticed this in previous episodes. There are sometimes bits of things missing when I'm saying things, and that is because, they, like, I got horrible crackling from the microphone, and I'm pretty sure it's because OBS cannot keep up recording while so much things are happening in this world. Now, this is kind of looking weird. Why don't I get anything in here? Okay, I will spend some time now to, to find the optimal uh, numbers because we will be playing around with the RPM numbers for each row of shroom lights I want to place and I, I kind of want the first one to be good.
So uh, this is the result of uh, starting at 184 and going down by 3 RPM for every next row of uh, Shroom Heist that I place, or row, circle, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I don't like the look of it. it. It's basically too dark in here, and uh, they are, I, I basically just need them tighter. But uh, the problem is that since I, I wanted to start at 184, because there will be 61 rows or 61 circles of shroom lights, so 3 times 61 is 183, and I want the last one to spin at 1 RPM, and that gives 184, right? Uh, but this is not looking good. But I have a secret weapon in my arsenal here, and it is the fact that originally... I had the divider, so I can actually divide the rotation speed by two, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Yes, I'm gonna divide the speed by two. Yeah, so more experiments are needed to get the exact right. Like I, I don't like, I, I don't want completely dark areas like this. And as, and as you can see, we started with six spikes, and they are creating a spiral. And this is exactly what I was hoping would happen: that we would get a nice spiral, and. Uh, after, I think, eight, like, yes, that is circle number nine, we started adding a seventh spike. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that is the seventh spike. And then after a while, we will be adding an eighth spike, a ninth spike, etc., etc., etc. I think it's going to look awesome, but I just need to find the right parameters to do this. And, and this is, yeah, they need to be much, much tighter. It is looking good, though. I, I like this. Oh, and I probably made a mistake here. Yeah, this looks actually like a mistake that these two are in a straight line. Uh, ah, whatever. Um, I now know exactly how to approach this. So let's just break the shroom lights and uh, try this again. Okay, so I think this is the best we can do. I made them even tighter, but I, I think we will just always end up with like an ugly patch of uh, unlit bits here and I don't think I can do anything about it. So I'm, I'm starting now at uh, 124 RPM and that is actually divided by two and uh, then we are reducing by two for every step. So I should have just started at 62 and reduced by one on every step I guess. But yeah, so the, the process I'm, I'm having now is that I am, like, I still need to count here. So one, two, three, four, five, because I removed the torches that much. But this is not the first experiment. Um, I just need to remember what I'm doing here. Uh, so I already set the correct RPM for this row. So let me go down here. We spin this row. Ooh, that was very weird. Okay, and now I can do one, two, three, four, five. There, remove that one. Go to the speed controller. At the speed controller, I reduce the speed by two. Go up here, just make sure that it happens. I think it did happen. Reduce the speed by two and go up there and place the next one so yeah that's a minor optimization of the process here but this is not going fast this is gonna take a long time to do one two three four and five there remove one two three four five shroom light in Remove that one, and back to the speed controller. That's it. See you, well, uh, for you in a couple of seconds, for me in a few hours. But it's gonna be done, and it's. I think it's gonna look awesome. Alright, it is done, and I am loving this effect. It is as good as I thought. Unfortunately, we have this dark area here, and I think, actually, I understand what the problem is. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I don't think I can do anything about this problem. It's not too awful that, that there is a dark area, but um, I noticed at the last bit here, especially the last two rows, the last two rows, I think they are fully filled in. I'm not going to fly around too much because we're lagging too much, 
but the last three rows are fully filled in except those bits here. So the, the I think, first block or last block. No, we're spinning in that direction. So the first block doesn't get filled in. And I think basically this dark area is just the deployers not filling in the first block on every spin. So if I actually... No, well, maybe. I'm thinking if I actually made it spin twice... But no, that, that wouldn't help. Of course, making it spin twice would make it place the shroom lights slightly next to each other, just like we dug out everything here with the drills, right? With the drills, we had to spin a lot of times to, to clear out one layer. And um, I think that the same exact thing would apply to the shroom lights. So yeah, I'll fill in these two manually, but I, I am pretty sure that basically the, the miss... Oh, like in here as well, we can see, right? Th this one definitely is missing. So if we actually look at how this is working, uh, it should be about here. Um, in between these two, there is one shroom light missing. In between these two, there is one shroom light missing. And basically, like we, we should have had one more big spike like this. And um, those shroom lights are missing. I, I think that is the problem here. But yeah, it's it's, it's like on this side is, is kind of super regular. On this side, it's going all weird and wavy, but uh, like if you look at that, uh, like over there, for example, uh, lots of like spiralish pattern happen. And this always happens when you draw spirals this way, and it is pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. So, uh, despite this little bug here, I'm gonna call this a huge success, and I love the results. So, thanks a lot for watching. And have a very spirally shroomy day. Bye.